how's it going everyone my name's silver welcome back to the channel and today guys i got some more card fight vanguard for you i know you guys probably aren't super excited for this if you're not a vanguard fan but please try to stick with me as in there will be a fortnite video released here a little bit later after this goes live but yeah let's get into the video first off we have a lot of news to cover so i'm gonna try to get through this at a decently fair moderate rate while also sharing my thoughts and opinions Alrighty, so first bit of news that I think we should just know about, um, Bushiro needs to stop shoving food down our throat, so they keep doing that, they keep advertising food and stuff, I don't actually watch live streams, I just hear it from other people, and yeah, Bushiro, stop cramming food down our throat. So actually our first bit of news today is the Blaster Blade full art and card was revealed in confirming the skill um, of... If you, on Vanguard, if you have four more rearguards, this unit gets one critical. When this is placed on field, by paying the cost, counter blast one, soul blast one, choose one of your opponent's front row rearguards and retire it. So yeah, that was, we already had that. Next bit of news is to cover is there's this special campaign where you get two, um, two of them for one of these uh, special packs. So essentially, you get this unit for a Royal Paladin and Aichi. You get Masaki and this reprint of a unit, which I hopefully will be covering a lot more. Um, Kai in this unit and Kamui in this unit. Um, I'm going to try to cover these units. Um, I think the only way you can get them, though, is in Japan. So if you prefer these gift markers, you are going to have to order them via Japanese and all that fun stuff. So have fun doing that. But yeah, they're just special gift marks. I think you can get them in English. Next comes the important stuff. Um, the Leon trial deck number three. So this is the next trial deck we're getting after Kagero and Blaster Blade, or Royal Paladin, because what the heck's a Royal Paladin? So yeah, we're going to cover this. We have some nice reprints coming in, so let's start off with that. So from what I understand, this is the Leon Soryu trial deck. And it's going to be, have 14 different cards, includes three, four triple rares and four perfect guards. Includes support for the Aqua Force clan. And the official price is 15 yen or 15 US dollars. And it features cards. It also includes front triggers, being it's one of those clans that gets the front trigger. Um, so it also is getting a new, it is also getting the unit, a reprint unit or a remake of the unit. Marine General of Ruthless Tides Al Algos, which I have right here. This is what its new art looks like and was going to be what I assume the main grade 3 or grade 2 for the deck. Um, so a lot of people are picking out that um, Maelstrom, this, this guy here, is not on the cover of the trial deck. I believe back when the first trial deck came out, Maelstrom was in that trial deck, maybe? Um, so we're going to cover this guy's skill first, and then I'm going to explain why Maelstrom isn't there. Alright, so this original skill was, when this unit attack hits a vanguard, you, if you have an Aqua Force vanguard, it, and it is the fourth battle of the turn or more, draw a card. So pretty good standard card. It came in, like I said, a trial deck. Let's go check it out. Let's see if Maelstrom came in this trial deck. I don't think he actually did, looking at the grade 3 lineups. No, he did not. So, Maelstrom also did not come in this trial deck. As we can see here, we had a different Aqua Force unit. So, a lot of people are concerned, like, where's Maelstrom? Maybe Maelstrom will be the main grade 3. Unfortunately, from what I understand from people that have watched the stream uh, the other earlier last night, um, Maelstrom is not a part of the set. So, which is sort of what we're going to get into next, which is this Extra Booster. The Extra Booster 2 Asian Circuit Champions. Which contains support for Aqua Force, Dimension Police, and Grand Blue. The pack's illustration features Leon, Kenji, Gai Gaijo, wow, that was a hard name, and Nagasa, and Blue Storm Maelstrom. And from what I understand, you can com you can build two complete decks from this for Aqua Force and Dimension Police. But you are required to combine not only the trial deck but the extra booster to complete build a complete uh, Aqua Force deck, and that sort of lines up with what we have here. 
So if you come down here for the extra booster, we have the breakdowns, uh, the VRs seem to have an even split, the triple rares have an even split, but when we get down to the double rares, we lose that uh, triple split. And this is where I think it comes in. I think that Dimension Police and Grand Blue are both gonna get three triple rares, and Aqua Force is going to get one, or two, sorry, two, because they already have another triple rare value in this box, which would probably be Maelstrom as a triple, which takes up one slot, and then there's probably going to be two other supporting cards. They also get three SVRs, so I'm assuming each, all three main units are going to get one. Three ORs, again another one, and I really don't know how this is going to work. I assume Dimension Please and... um. Grand Blue are going to get an extra one, or maybe being that Aqua Force doesn't have a extra double rare here, um, they are going to get one. I don't know, that's just a theory breakdown, and I probably could break it down a bit better, like Aqua Force or Grand Blue and Dimension Police get more here, and they get less in here. I don't know how they're going to break it down, but that also brings us to our, our next set. The sex focus on Aqua Force theme on Leon is the Excel clan. Grand Blue is being at is in the Protect clan and Dimension Police are in the force. So great spreads. We're going to go over the units now and their alternate forms. So yeah, that's why Blue Storm won't be in the trial deck is cuz you need both to combine and make it's a it's a money scheme. So let's start off with the one that I guess no one's really super Oh no, I, I like this card, and I think if I played Grand Blue, I'd like it. So, we have King of Demonic Seas, Baskeret, Bas Bastric, which is really good. Um, It's old skill, it was a very old card. So, we go over here and we look at its first print, and its skill is, at the beginning of your main phase, Soul Charge 1, and this unit gets 2k power. I honestly don't see this having it, if we follow the theories of Mega Blast, then this won't have a Mega Blast. It's or this one won't but it will probably have a similar skill a lower cost choose up to five grand blue units from your drop zone call them to separate rear guards um I being that this has the protect mark I see this somehow having maybe a guard mechanic I mean it, it sounds like a good card and it hopefully will be I see this being the main triple rare for the set as well um, we'll go over the next card, which is Blue Storm Maelstrom. So, again, this was a really main staple. And a lot of people are hoping that Aqua Force will skip with their current stride of attacks and how it works. Because Aqua Force didn't have a lot of plussing back in the original days. They just had pokes. So we'll go over his original skill and we can try to break it down and see how it's going to affect. If I remember correctly, you have the Excel mark, so that will be useful for you. It's not the uh, Force mark, so the Excel does something else. I can't remember what Excel does. Oh well. Um, does it actually say where your imaginary GIF is on here? No, it doesn't. All right. So let's go over to the old Maelstrom. It was a Limit Break unit, which is entering the Limit Break series, which I have a theory video I'm going to film after this one and talk about that after. When this unit attacks a vanguard, if it is the fourth battle of the turn or more, until end of battle, this unit gets 5k power and auto. Counterblast 1, when this unit attack hits, you may pay the cost. If you do, draw a card, choose one of your points regards and retire it. So, yeah, I think it's going to have, it's not going to have Limit Break 4. It's going to have something the equivalent of it in the series, as we've seen in the past, that some cards that I believe had Limit Break have a skill similar to Limit Break. Um, I don't see this being a thing, being clan fight is now part of it, so, or is part of the rules, so, um, I don't see this being on there. I see a skill similar somehow, maybe when this unit battles a certain unit, it will draw a card. It's definitely going to have a plus skill, and it's probably going to be around the fourth battle of the turn again, because that's how Aqua Force operates, is it's turn specific attacks, and that's honestly how I think this card is going to somehow work is it's going to be used in a unique fashion with a plus in a battle probably third or fourth battle I'm hoping fourth to make it you know a bit more skilled base 
But let's go on to the final unit that I am most hyped for in that I will probably be building a deck around from this box if I get it, which is Ultimate Dimensional Robo Great Dayusha. Not the first evolution, but there's reasons I'm super excited for this and what's making me want to build a Dimensional Robo deck to start off with. So this is going to be probably a 13k base. Uh, it's not confirmed yet because a lot of people are theorizing that cards aren't actually built around there isn't built around like a cookie cutter guide where if you have a skill you're 9k if you for a grade two if you don't you're 10 it's all about skills and everything but i love the art the artist is the same for this and i'm gonna go over its original incarnate and then explain why i think i'm super excited for this and why i'm gonna be building a deck around it so this is its first form ultimate dimensional robo great Dayusha. Limit break during your turn if the number of cards in your soul with dimensional robo and its name is three or more this unit gets 2k and a crit if you have a non vanguard which doesn't apply minus 2k and if you have a card name with super dimensional robo Dayusha in your soul 2k i don't think either of these skills are going to be here we have yet to be confirmed of super dimensional robo Dayusha, which i do hope they make a new form of but i don't see it probably coming to fruition as anything it's probably at most will be a double rare but i do see it having a skill where it gives it probably 10k in a critical just because that's the standard format of plusing is around 10k i really like an awkward number like 7k just to give it that we really weird awkwardness but yeah and i don't have it pulled up here because i forgot to but if you look up ultimate dimensional robo here we'll yeah we'll play, paste it in here did not i just wanted ultimate um i believe it's die kaiser right nope it's not die kaiser it's ultimate what is it it might not be paste um i'm looking like a fool this is also a card that deserves a reprint in the series um but we'll go back to Dayusha. We'll copy Dayusha's name. I believe it's a Dayusha. I might be very wrong in this, but let's see. Dayusha. So there's the original Dayusha. Um, super dimensional. I don't want Dayusha reversed, huh? Um, support cards. All right, I forgot the unit's name because I'm a terrible person. I'm sorry. Um, it's probably a dimensional robo. Let's see. Die Kaiser. Let's see. Let's just go to dimensional. What does dimensional bring us? Dimensional robo. Alrighty. Well, none of this is being cut because it's just going straight to upload. Um, dimensional robos. No, okay, let's see. Grade three, this is what I'm looking for. Um, It's not Shadow Kaiser. Could have sworn it was... Oh, this, this is the one. Here it is. I'm a silly, silly boy. There we go. So this card, Legions with this card. Now, if it has its gift marked force, which it does, then it's gonna be really broken but besides that a lot of people are assuming that when it legions if it's a 13k it's going to become um 44 or whatever their n weird number is that they've come up with it you guys need to stop oh that's counting force markers it's not going to be 44k you see here legion works is the printed number that's how legion works this is your base power. This last I checked, that's how that works. If I'm wrong, correct me, send me a link, and I will shut up. But yeah, in order for it to Legion and get that, it this is what its Legion power becomes. And then you can add on power, like the 10k and other stuff, but it won't become 13 plus 11. That's that's how a lot of people assume it works, but that's not how it works. It's what the printed power states. But yeah, overall, um, I 
that's sort of my just my thoughts on this. Let's see. Rolling on Legion, how it works. No one cares. But yeah, um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I'm sorry that this video took me so long to get out tonight. I do have more videos coming. I just had to take a couple days of R&R &R after work. I will hopefully be back to my normal upload schedule. But until next time, guys, I've been Silverwolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace.